Hi kids, can you believe another year has come? And today you get to go to your new Connect classes. I hope that you'll love your new volunteers because we love them. They are so great. We are thankful that people love God enough to serve in Creek Kids. Our verse today, or not our verse, but our story comes from the book of Genesis chapter 13. God commanded Abram to leave his family and go to a place that God would show him. Abram had no sons of his own, so he took his nephew Lot. God blessed Abram and Lot, and each of them had many cattle, sheep, servants, and tents. But there was not enough land and water for Abram and Lot to stay together. So Abram's workers and Lot's workers began to argue. Abram told Lot, please let there be no quarreling between us and between our workers. We are family. Take a look at the land and choose what you would like to live. If you would like to go to the left, then I'll go right. And if you go to the right, I'll go left. Lot looked out and he saw a fine piece of land with plenty of water. He chose it for himself and moved away from Abram. After Lot was gone, God made a promise to Abram. God said, look north and south and east and west. I will give you and your family all of the land you see. And I will make your family so large that you won't be able to count your offspring. They will be like the dust of the earth. And Abram trusted God. Abram moved his tents and flocks and servants to a place called Hebron, where he built an altar to worship God. You know, this story ends right there, but I know more of the story. And do you know that Lot ended up being in a land called Sodom? And he actually had to leave it because the people there were so awful. But God did fulfill his promise to Abram, and he gave him so many offspring that you and I are even offspring of Abraham. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you. Dear God, thank you for fulfilling your promise to Abraham. Thank you that we can trust you to do what you say. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.